Welcome to 2019. I'm Dorothy Guerra, your host of Get Loud About Your Life, and you're watching Tag TV. I'm super excited as we move into a new calendar year. It's all about a new you, a new year. Well, how many of you as we're moving into the first few weeks of January have had this big epiphany that 2019 was gonna be fabulous? And yet, a few weeks in, things are just kind of the same as they were in 2018 as you were ending off the year. The idea of yoga that I wanna to teach to you today is how to really recognize change by choice and not change by calendar. In order to change things in your life for 2019 to be spectacular, you have to know what you want, you have to have passion and desire for that, and then your gut instinct has to tell you that you're making the right decisions. All of that requires resonance between your head, your heart, and your gut. And these three centers of our physical body are called chakras, and they move energy. So if you want anything to change as you move into 2019, you've got to move your energy into that plan that you have. Set those goals. So the best way to get you moving is to teach you some simple postures that you'll be able to do in order to stimulate your thinking, to align your heart, and to open up that gut center so that our instinct is really strong as we move into 2019. So I'm going to show you some really simple postures. When you wake up in the morning, you can simply roll out a mat and do these postures and motivate yourself into creating that change in your life that you want to see. So to start, as we begin our practice, you're going to need a simple towel. And this is just to make the exercises easier for yourself. I just took a dish towel, any small towel. And of course, make sure you have your mat so that you can do the show with me every week this year. And uh, we're going to get ready. So the first thing we're going to do is center. We're going to create that alignment. And you want to be mindful. So before you start working your postures, you need to create an intention. So today's intention, I want you to focus on what is it that I need to change, all right? And when you ask yourself that what, think of it from your mind, the thought. What is it that you want to change that you have passion for? Do you really love the idea of what it is that you want? And does your gut instinct tell you that this is what you need to do in your life? So once you start asking yourself these these simple questions, what is it that I want to change? I want you to start paying attention to your body. Your body's either going to feel really tight or it's going to feel really awake to starting to, to move into what you want to do. So again, come back to that center. Okay, bringing your palms together, thumbs in towards your heart is a way to start focusing inward. So you just start to close down all that external noise around you. Focus on your breath. So what I want you to do here is we're going to take a first, a simple exercise for the head. Okay, and I want you just to nod up and down. Okay, and just start oiling the neck here a little bit. And be mindful to breathing, always breathing. Okay, and so the first exercise just to wake up the brain is we're going to interlace our fingers, all right, and let your head get heavy. So we're not going to do this movement from the head, we're actually going to do this movement with the hands. And I want you to place your hands up on top of your forehead, all right, and you're just going to simply sink your chin to your chest. Now feel your head get heavy, almost as if your arms or your, the back of your hands are supporting your head. And as you start to feel your forehead press against the back of your hands, start to lift your elbows up. Okay, and then again, be mindful to the breath. And you're just going to start to feel that stretch across the shoulders and at the back of the neck. After doing this a few times, I want you just to turn your head back, looking up, same thing. Just let your head fall back, press your elbows away from each other, and again, open and expanding the heart center a little bit more. All right, and just doing that a few times, coming back, drop your head into your hands, and then press your head back. 
awesome. And you're gonna to start to feel that your mind is being stimulated a little bit. You're gonna be more in control of your thoughts. Let's move this down a little bit. Now focus more on our shoulders directly. And this is where you're gonna to need to get your little towel. So the first thing we're gonna do is called eagle arms. And I want you just to take your left hand your right hand up, so you're basically adding your fingertips together. For those of you that can't reach your fingers, this is where you're just gonna take that towel and press it back. This is a great exercise for just opening up the heart center and being, a, being able to take more oxygen into the body. So holding it here, so we've just loosened up our neck. Our mind should be nice and awake, really focused, and I want you just to start pressing your elbows towards a wall or behind you. And as you do this, if you're holding onto a towel, you're just gonna keep walking your hands along this towel a little bit more at a time. And again, closing your eyes and being mindful to where you are. All right, and just focusing on that breath and just holding it here for maybe five or 10 breaths. And you're gonna just start to feel everything waking up. And there's gonna be a sense of alignment starting to happen between your head and your heart as we start moving this energy between the two places. And then let's not forget the other side, creating balance. So if you're holding onto your towel, you're just gonna do it like this. Otherwise, you're just gonna join your fingers for those of you that don't need the towel, and I've dropped my towel there. Once you feel that your fingers can align, go ahead and also drop your towel. Challenge yourself a little bit. Okay, and again, coming back to my breath. I just wanna pay attention to what my body's feeling. Okay, and this is not about forcing your body into any kind of physical changes. It's just simply being with your body to recognize the kind of changes that your body needs. Again, five to 10 breaths is all you need here. Okay, and then we're just gonna open this up. So I'm gonna swing over to the side. Again, very simple exercises. And I'm just gonna take myself into a squared position here. You're not gonna need this towel yet, but keep it beside you. And all I'm gonna do here is I need to now wake up this solar plexus space into my gut, all right? This is where I'm sort of sparking that gut instinct in me. So I'm just gonna take my hands underneath my shoulders, very simple reverse plank, all right, with a tabletop position. So this is a modified version of a tabletop plank. And you're just gonna lift up. So once I do this again, I'm stimulating my shoulders again, I'm stimulating my neck, and at the same time, I'm I'm opening up my hips so I'm creating open space here in that gut area and again focus on your breathing and if you find it too difficult you just take a break come back to your breath don't be discouraged and you try it again modify as you need I'm just going to show you the more advanced version for those of you that want to take it a little bit further just extending your legs hands underneath your shoulders and we're just going to lift and let the head go, let the heart expand, let the hips open. And as we do this back and forth, we're starting to stimulate resonance between all three energy centers, okay? One more stretch here for you, and then we're just gonna come onto our back. All right, take that towel again for those of you that feel that you need it. Now I just wanna create movement with my legs and make sure that my entire body's in balance. So all I'm gonna do here is take this towel, wrap it around my foot, and I'm gonna just give my leg a little stretch. Now you can play with this, okay? Whether you take the leg up here, whether you take your leg out to the side, all right? Just doing what you need to do in order to feel like you're moving your hip. All right, we're always standing or sitting. We're never really focusing on oiling this hip area, which can tend to create a lot of injuries in our life later on. So again, that feels really good. And as I create little circles here, I can feel that energy moving through my body. Okay, and again, just focusing on that, your own pace, and then let it go. And then we're just gonna take that towel over our foot, other side and same thing, just hold it for a few breaths, just start to wake up the hips, wherever you feel comfortable, and then when you're ready, you're just gonna start working those hip circles. Now I want you to be mindful, the reason I'm using a towel is because I want to keep my shoulders on the mat. If I went like this, then I'm just gonna block all that energy that I'm trying to move in my body. So keeping your shoulders down, spine along the mat, using a towel helps everything to work as it needs to work safely. 
Okay, just a couple more breaths. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna place your towel down. Don't forget to always finish your practice with some sort of a meditation. So from here, you can come right into a savasana and lie still, or you can come right up and then just come back to your breath and close your practice with that mindful breathing. All right, let's just take a moment here. And then come back, close your practice with the intention that we originally set. So are you changing your life in 2019 because of the calendar or are you going to change your life by choice? If you're going to change your life by choice, and obviously that's what I'm hoping you will do, then wake up to your body, wake up to your breath, wake up to the way that you think, the way that your heart feels and what your gut instinct tells you. And then from there, hopefully you're going to be able to have a great 2019 and get really loud about your life.